hello there friends I decided that it sounded like a fun idea to film outside and get a change of scenery and all and I thought it was a nice night it's windy out of nowhere I hate the weather here sometimes but anyways that's not the point the point is that I am still your host the dread pirate space buns what is up who well, else is a scary place right now and I'm just gonna kind of jump into that because it's real. The coronavirus is some serious stuff and wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I have been trying to make a lot of jokes and really keep things light and fun and very enjoyable through all of this because I'm probably equally scared to most other people that I know or at least that mention it to me. It's I get it, it's pretty freaky. It's not cool. It's, wow, bad vibes. Bad vibes. <laughs> Perfect place for that. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I have a quote today and wow, I really have no idea which side of me this is gonna go on at this point, so we're gonna put it somewhere. And um, I don't know, I just thought this quote, this quote really, well, really, really well worked as something to think about at this time and something I'm on, I don't know almost to get your mind off of it almost to get you excited for the fact that yes one day oh my gosh hopefully very very soon like I mean like <laughs> oh I'd love it if it descended like next week you know that would be like, yeah, well, whatever anyways here very very soon I really really hope that like this all ends and gets better and we can all just like resume normal resume happy but this will give you something to think about until that happens okay so how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye this hard so hard my bad it's kind of dark out here if you can't tell anyways it's by Winnie the Pooh and yeah that's totally part of what makes me love it I love Winnie the Pooh that's that's always held a special place with me but it's also the contents of it it's, it's what it says it's what it means and I think at this time like yes we're also we're also scared we're also put in a weird spot because life's honestly so weird compared to what it normally is or what it usually would be for us and so, and so since life has I don't know thrown a wrench into this game instead of the dollar ball that it was supposed to throw uh we're all kind of like wow oh oh wait we're like panic we're running around inside of the head inside of inside out i got it all right but anyways because of that or even me i'm like you know what i'm really sad that i can't go to the, the store right now and buy my muddy buddies like that even makes sense like i even regularly buy muddy buddies i buy them maybe once a month because i'm like oh random craving what's up friend but that does not mean that because i cannot have muddy buddies right now because they are bought out of like every grocery store like that doesn't mean i don't want them really bad and yes all of you bought all the Chex mix because i guess you're all now well aware that you can make your own but still okay this is like this is the point. I'm sitting here missing buddy buddies when the truth of the matter is there's so much more that I actually do miss. You know, it, it is kind of isolating. So even I'm thinking about the fact that, hey, I'm, I'm missing friends, I'm missing family, I'm missing human interaction in a lot of ways and just things I would normally do. And you know, I, I hope that if you go to a bar regularly to hang out with your friends, you realize how special that interaction is because of all of this. I'm, I'm really a hardcore believer in the fact that everything does happen for a reason. Even if, even if sometimes that reason happens and it hurts. And sometimes growth does hurt. Sometimes change does hurt. Sometimes becoming the person that you're supposed to become is a very painful and very like, uh, growth is not easy and why would we think any sort of growth is easy in life we can't think just because we're adults that all of a sudden we got a free pass I just think that everything happens for a reason and for right now it's it may not be everyone's reason you may have other things to come with this 
but maybe it's a very small step in the right direction of starting to learn or starting to grow from whatever whatever experience you are being given here. Because I think that's also an important thing to realize is that for all of us, this is different. I mean, even our different places are doing things differently, which of course, difference, but like, we're all in different places. All of our apartments and houses and the way we live are completely different. We have different habits, we have different ideas of life. And so, who knows? Who knows what people could be missing right now? And for me, it's as simple as missing the way the cars sound. That's one of my favorite things during the summer, was to sleep with my windows open so that you could hear the sounds of the cars. I don't know, it's something about the sound of life that really does make me happy. Even just going to a store, sitting in a coffee shop, it'll be really easy to just tune out and listen to the thousands of things being said around me because, wow, it's just so pleasant to hear everybody in the sounds of life. And so that's what I'm excited for. I'm excited to go back to where we all we all exist, we're all doing things, we're all normal again. So I promise friends, one day that day will come. Even if, even if this is a harder uphill journey than we are expecting it to be, or we know it's gonna be, I, wherever you are at, I don't know where you're at, all I know is that, I already told you, I'm panicked, running around the head going, whoa! I'm sure that looked great, but anyways, take into account what it is that your heart's aching for, what you're missing the most right now, what is making you the saddest, what's hurting you most. And then that's that's a lesson, that's what you need, that's what you know, you're being told. And that can be a really good place to start in further growth, in further, further learning of who you are, who you want to be, that kind of stuff. I hope we come out of this a better world and hopefully a happy world that you know likes each other still because I think the world's a pretty cool place and unfortunately we are all stuck on one rock inside of a bubble we are floating in space it's just facts the bubble in space so let's just all be chill we're all in this together Bad High School Musical Funds, what is up? <laughs> and it's true, at this point we're all in this together. It's everywhere. We are all facing the same crisis. So let's be kind, let's be nice, and let's take this time to just figure it out. Figure out some things that will make us better as people and the world better because we made ourselves better people during this time of, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, everybody. And I really hope that how, whenever you watch this, you're okay, you're having, you're at least safe. Keep yourself safe. Make sure you wash your hands, do all the things they're telling you to do. And yeah, just try to enjoy yourself somehow do the things you love to do and do lots and lots of self-care because this is the best time for self-care because it is all about you you're with you do you that is all I, I think I need to stop spazzing for the night and also fire truck sounds like it's getting closer so that will make this any better anyways y'all have a great night thank you so very much for tuning in watching this and yeah stay safe everyone I will be here until the other side. I will keep making crazy stuff to try to get us through. And I'll see you on the other side where we can talk about this and be like, wow, what a cool part of history. We all got to make it through. Dread Pirate Space Funds out, you guys.